Have you ever noticed how we're all chasing this idea of a happy ending in love? Like there's some magical finish line where everything falls perfectly into place and we can finally say this is it. This is my happily ever after. After decades of observing people counseling, thousands, I've discovered that the most profound, the most transformative love stories never had what we'd call a happy ending. The truth about love stories isn't in their endings. It's in their impact. It's in how they reshape our souls, redirect our past, and fundamentally change who we are. Think about the loves that have shaped your life. Were they the ones that ended perfectly, wrapped up like a Hollywood movie? Or were they the ones that challenged you, transformed you, maybe even broke you open to reveal strengths you never knew you had? I met an elderly gentleman who shared something profound with me. I was married to the love of my life for 47 years before she passed. People tell me I should be grateful for the happy years we had together, but they're missing the point entirely. Our love story isn't beautiful because we are happy. It's beautiful because it made us both into people we never dreamed we could become. Even in grief, I'm still growing, still learning from our love. This is the first great truth about love stories. They aren't meant to end happily. They're meant to end meaningfully. When we chase happy endings, we miss the entire point of the journey. We're so focused on reaching some imagined perfect conclusion that we fail to notice how love is sculpting us, molding us, teaching us lessons we desperately need to learn. Every great love story that has ever moved you deeply, whether in literature, in life, or in your own experience, has left an indelible mark, not because everything worked out perfectly, but because it touched something profound within you. Romeo and Juliet, Heathcliff and Catherine, even modern love stories that touch our hearts. They resonate not because they ended happily, but because they mirror the deep truth about love's transformative power. The second truth about love stories is that they continue beyond their apparent endings. When we change because of love, that change ripples out into everything we do, everyone we meet, every future relationship we have. Love stories don't end when relationships end. They evolve, they transform, they become part of our personal mythology. I've counseled countless individuals who felt they'd failed because their relationships didn't achieve that elusive happily ever after. But when we dug deeper, we invariably discovered that these supposedly failed relationships were actually prof They taught compassion, resilience, self-awareness, and most importantly, they taught us about our own capacity to love and grow. This brings me to the third truth. The most powerful love stories are often the ones that hurt the most. Why? Because pain, when approached with awareness and openness, is one of life's greatest teachers. The relationship that ends in heartbreak can teach us more about self-love than a lifetime of comfortable companionship. The love that challenges our beliefs can open us up to new ways of seeing the world that we'd never have discovered in a perfect relationship. And think about your own life for a moment. Think about the love that changed you the most. Was it the relationship that went smoothly or was it the one that challenged everything you thought you knew about yourself? Was it the love that fit neatly into your plans or the one that turned your world upside down? The problem isn't that we haven't found our happy ending. It's that we're looking for the wrong thing entirely. We're searching for an ending when we should be embracing the continuous unfolding of our story. Every love story is really a chapter in the larger story of our personal growth, our spiritual evolution, our journey toward understanding what love truly means. When we release this attachment to happy endings, something miraculous happens. We begin to see love not as a destination to reach, but as a force that shapes us. We stop trying to control the outcome and start appreciating the wisdom in every experience. We realize that even the loves that end in tears have given us gifts we couldn't have received. This is the paradox of great love stories. Their power lies not in their ability to fulfill our fantasies of perfect happiness, but in their capacity to awaken us to deeper truths about ourselves and about love itself. The best love stories never had a happy ending because they never truly ended at all. They became part of who we are, part of how we love, part of how we grow. When we understand this, we stop chasing happy endings and start embracing the entire journey of love with all its ups and downs its joys and sorrows, its lessons and revelations. We begin to see that every love story, whether it ends in marriage or heartbreak, success or failure by society standards, 
has the potential to be beautiful and meaningful if we approach it with an open heart and a willingness to learn. This brings me to something deeply important about love that most people never realize. The greatest love stories are actually spiritual journeys in disguise. Every relationship that touches us deeply is really a mirror, showing us parts of ourselves we couldn't see before. Have you ever wondered why some people come into our lives and shake everything up, leaving nothing the same? I remember counseling a brilliant musician who lost his hearing. His wife stayed by his side, but not in the way you might expect. Instead of trying to fix everything or offering empty comfort, she handed him a paintbrush. She said, if you can't create with sound anymore, create with color. Their love story wasn't about overcoming his disability or finding a miraculous cure. It was about transformation. Today, he's a renowned painter whose work speaks to souls in ways his music never... Was this a happy ending? No, it was something far more profound. It was a transformation. This is what the greatest love stories do. They don't give us what we want. They give us what we need to become who we're meant to be. Think about that for a moment. Every love that has touched your life has left you different, hasn't it? Sometimes stronger, sometimes softer, sometimes more open, sometimes more cautious, but always changed. We've been conditioned by society to believe that love should make us happy, comfortable, secure. But the greatest love stories I've witnessed did something far more valuable. They made people authentic. They stripped away pretenses, shattered comfortable illusions, and forced growth that wouldn't have happened any other way. Consider the nature of true love for a moment. True love isn't about finding someone who fits perfectly into our life. It's about finding someone who makes us question everything about our life. It's about finding someone who reflects back to us both our light and our shadows. Someone who makes us face parts of ourselves we've been avoiding. The most powerful love stories are often the ones society might label as failures. The couple who realizes they've grown in different directions and loves each other enough to let go. The partners who transform their romantic relationship into a deep friendship that enriches both their lives. The individuals who learned through heartbreak that they needed to learn self-love before they could truly love an Every great love story has elements of tragedy in it. Not because tragedy is necessary for love, but because growth often requires letting go of who we were to become who we're meant to be. And letting go, my friends, always involves loss. I've seen people cling to relationships long past their expiration date because they're chasing that happy ending. They think if they just try hard enough, sacrifice enough, compromise enough, they can force their story into that fairy tale format we've all been taught. But here's what they're missing. Sometimes the most loving thing we can do is allow a relationship to evolve or end naturally. The real magic happens when we stop trying to control the storyline and start appreciating the wisdom in every chapter. When we understand that love isn't about reaching a destination, but about the transformation that happens along the journey. When we realize that every person who touches our heart is a teacher and every relationship, whether it lasts a lifetime or a season, is a sacred class. Let me share something profound about love that took me years to understand. The most beautiful love stories are often invisible to the outside world. They're not the ones that make headlines or get turned into movies. They're the quiet transformations, the subtle shift in consciousness, the gentle awakenings that happen when two souls connect authentically, even if only for a moment. And think about the relationships that have shaped you most deeply. Were they the ones that followed the expected script or were they the ones that surprised you, challenged you, maybe even broke your heart open. The ones that forced you to question everything you thought you knew about love, about yourself, about life. This is why the best love stories never had a happy ending. Because they're not about endings at all. They're about continuous evolution, about the ongoing journey of becoming. They're about how love, in all its forms, serves as a catalyst for our spiritual when we shift our perspective from seeking happy endings to embracing transformative journeys, everything changes. We stop seeing failed relationships as failures and start recognizing them as chapters in our personal growth story. We stop measuring love by its longevity or its conformity to social expectations and start measuring it by how much it helps us evolve. The most profound love stories I've witnessed weren't about finding perfect happiness. They were about finding perfect truth. 
They were about people becoming more authentically themselves through the experience of loving another. They were about souls growing, hearts expanding, and consciousness evolving. Now let's talk about something that might revolutionize how you think about love. What I call the sacred paradox of love stories. The more desperately we chase that perfect happy ending, the more it eludes us. But when we surrender to love's transformative power, we find something far more precious than happiness. We find meaning. I worked with a writer who spent years crafting romance novels with perfect endings. Her own marriage had ended in divorce and she poured her unfulfilled dreams into her stories. But something fascinating happened when she finally stopped writing happy endings and started writing true endings. Her books began touching people's lives in ways she never imagined. Readers wrote to her saying, your story helped me understand my own journey. She found that by embracing the complexity and imperfection of real love, she created something far more powerful than... Th this brings us to a crucial understanding. Love isn't meant to make us comfortable, it's meant to make us grow. The greatest love stories are the ones that challenge our assumptions, push our boundaries, and force us to confront our own truth. They're the ones that leave us different than they found us. Think about the concept of soulmates for a moment. We've been taught to believe that a soulmate is someone who completes us, who makes everything perfect. But what if a soulmate is actually someone who shows us our incompleteness? Someone who reflects back to us the parts of ourselves we need to develop, heal or transform? Uh, the most powerful connections often come with the greatest challenges. They force us to face our fears, confront our limitations, and question our beliefs. These aren't signs that the love story is failing. They're signs that it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do catalyzing our growth. I've observed that the relationships that transform us the most are often the ones that don't fit our preconceived notions of how love should look. They're messy, complicated, and sometimes they end in ways we didn't expect, but they leave us with wisdom we couldn't have gained any other way. Every person who comes into your life brings a lesson. Some stay to teach us long-term lessons about commitment, patience, and deep understanding. Others appear briefly teaching us sharp, intense lessons about boundaries, self-worth, or the courage to be authentic. Both types of teachers are equally valuable in our journey. The problem isn't that love stories end. It's that we've been conditioned to see endings as failures. But in nature, endings are just transitions. A sunset isn't a failure of the day. It's a necessary part of the cycle. The falling leaves aren't a failure of autumn. They're preparation for new growth. When we start seeing love stories through this lens of continuous growth and transformation, something remarkable happens. We stop being victims of our relationships and start being students. We stop seeking perfection and start embracing evolution. We realize that every love story, regardless of its duration or outcome, has the potential to be magnificent if we approach it with openness to its lessons. Here's a powerful true sight. These has the these most profoundly often weren't the ones that made us happiest. They were the ones that made us most authentic. They stripped away our pretenses, challenged our illusions, and forced us to confront our true selves. I've seen individuals who thought they'd found their happy ending only to discover that what they really found was the beginning of their most important journey. The journey wasn't about finding perfect love. It was about becoming more capable of loving authentically, more able to stand in their truth, more willing to embrace the full spectrum of human experience. The greatest gift of love isn't happiness, it's transformation. Every relationship we experience, whether it lasts a lifetime or a moment, has the potential to expand our capacity for love, deepen our understanding of ourselves and elevate our consciousness. When we release our attachment to happy endings, we open ourselves to something far more valuable, the ability to find meaning and growth in every chapter of our love story. We stop waiting for happiness to arrive at some future point and start discovering the profound beauty in the journey itself. This is why the best love stories never had a happy ending, because their true purpose wasn't to make us happy. Their purpose was to make us whole, to show us parts of ourselves we couldn't see on our own. To teach us lessons we couldn't learn any other way. To transform us into beings capable of deeper, more authentic love. 
The real magic of love isn't in finding someone who never triggers our wounds. <laughs> it's in finding relationships that help us heal those wounds. It's not about avoiding pain. It's about growing through it. It's not about reaching a perfect ending. It's about embracing the perfect imperfection of the journey. Let's delve into something that might completely transform how you view love and relationships, what I call the alchemy of love stories. Just as ancient alchemists sought to turn base metals into gold, every significant relationship in our lives has the potential to transform our raw experiences into wisdom. Consider how true alchemical transformation works. It requires heat pressure and sometimes the breaking down of what exists to create something new. Isn't this exactly what happens in our most powerful love stories? The heat of passion, the pressure of challenges, the breaking down of our preconceptions. All of these elements combine to transform us into something more refined than we were before. I've counseled many people who came to me devastated because their love story didn't end the way they thought it should. They felt like failures because they couldn't maintain the perfect relationship they'd imagine. Those very people, once they shifted their perspective, realized that what seemed like failure was actually profound success. Not in achieving a happy ending, but in achieving deep personal transformation. A powerful truth about love that we often overlook is this. The most transformative love stories are the ones that don't go according to plan. They're the ones that force us to question everything we thought we knew about love, about ourselves, about life. They're the ones that break us open and force us to grow in ways we never imagined possible. Think about water for a moment. When it's contained in a clear, still pond, it can be beautiful, but it can also become stagnant. It's when water encounters obstacles, when it's forced to flow around rocks and down steep inclines, that it becomes dynamic, powerful, and life-giving. Our love stories work the same way. The obstacles, the challenges, the unexpected turns, these are what give our love stories their power to transform. I've noticed that many people spend their lives waiting for love to make them happy, when what love really wants to do is make them whole. They're waiting for someone to complete them, when what they really need is someone who will challenge them to complete themselves. They're looking for someone to give them the answers, when what they need is someone who will help them ask better questions. Here's another profound truth about love. The relationships that transform us the most are often the ones that feel the most uncomfortable. They're the ones that don't fit into our preconceived notions of how love should look or feel. They're the ones that force us to face parts of ourselves we've been avoiding. The greatest love stories are often the ones that society might label as unfinished or incomplete. The partners who choose different paths but continue to support each other's growth from a distance. The couples who transform their romantic relationship into a deep, friendship that enriches both their lives in unexpected ways. The individuals who learned through heartbreak that they needed to develop self-love before they could truly love another. What if we started measuring the success of our love stories, not by their endings, but by how much they helped us grow? What if instead of asking, did this relationship make me happy? We asked, did this relationship make me more authentic? Did it help me understand myself better? Did it expand my capacity to love? I've observed that the most beautiful love stories often involve people who were willing to let their relationships evolve naturally, even if that meant letting go of their original vision of how things should be. They understood that love isn't about controlling outcomes. It's about staying open to the wisdom that each experience brings. Every person who comes into our lives brings a unique gift, a lesson, an insight, a challenge that helps us grow. Some stay for a lifetime teaching us about commitment, patience, and the deep work of long-term love. Others appear briefly teaching us sharp, intense lessons about boundaries, self-worth, or the courage to be authentic. Both types of teachers are equally valuable in our journey. The most profound love stories I've witnessed weren't about finding perfect happiness. They were about finding perfect truth. They were about people becoming more authentically themselves through the experience of loving another. They were about souls growing, hearts expanding, and consciousness evolving. When we release our attachment to happy endings, something miraculous happens. 
we begin to experience love not as a destination to reach, but as a force that shapes us. We stop trying to control the outcome and start appreciating the wisdom in every experience. We realize that even the loves that end in tears have given us gifts we couldn't have received any other way. As we draw towards our conclusion, let me share what I believe is the most liberating truth about love. When we stop chasing happy endings, we become free to experience the true magic of love's transformative. We stop being victims of our stories and become conscious authors of our journey. The greatest illusion about love isn't that it should last forever. It's that it should conform to our expectations. Every significant relationship I've witnessed that created lasting transformation did so precisely because it defied expectations. It forced people to grow beyond their comfort zones, to question their beliefs, to become more than they thought possible. I've seen individuals who thought they had failed at. Love discovered that what actually failed was their limited conception of what love could be. The businesswoman who thought her divorce meant the end of her love story only discovered it was the beginning of the greatest love affair of all, the one with herself. The man who thought losing his partner meant losing his capacity to love, only to find that his grief opened his heart to a deeper understanding of love than he'd ever known before. Think about a garden for a moment. A gardener doesn't judge the success of their garden solely by what survives the winter. They understand that some plants are perennials, returning year after year, while others are annuals burning bright for a season and then completing their cycle. Both have their place. Both add beauty to the garden. Both serve a purpose. Our love stories are like this. Some are meant to last a lifetime, others for a season, but all have the potential to enrich the garden of our lives. The most profound love stories I've encountered weren't about perfect matches or fairy tale endings. They were about perfect timing, about the right people showing up at exactly the right moment to catalyze necessary growth. Sometimes these encounters lasted decades, sometimes just days, but their impact was measured not in time, but in transformation. That's what I've come to understand. The best love stories never had a happy ending because they were never about endings at all. They were about beginnings at new beginnings over and over again. Every challenge, every heartbreak, every moment of growth was just another beginning disguised as an ending. When we embrace this truth, Something remarkable happens. We stop measuring love by its longevity or its adherence to social norms and start measuring it by its capacity to transform us. We begin to see that every relationship, whether it lasts a lifetime or a moment, has the potential to be a catalyst for our evolution. The question isn't whether a love story ends happily. The question is whether it ends with us being more authentic, more aware, more capable of loving than we were when it began. Did it help us discover parts of ourselves we didn't know existed? Did it challenge us to grow in ways we needed, but might have been avoiding? Did it leave us with wisdom we couldn't have gained any other way? The universe doesn't waste good material. Every tear you've shed, every heart opening moment, every difficult lesson, it's all being used to create something beautiful in you. Your love stories, with all their complexities and apparent contradictions, are part of a larger tapestry of transformation. As we close today, I want to leave you with this final thought. Stop waiting for your happy ending. Stop measuring your love stories against some artificial standard of perfection. Instead, start asking yourself, how has love transformed me? How has it helped me grow? What wisdom has it given me that I couldn't have gained any other way? Because the truth is, the best love stories never had a happy ending. They had something far more valuable. They had transformation, they had growth, they had evolution of the soul. And in the end, isn't that worth more than any fairy tale ending could ever be? Your love story, whether you're in the middle of it thinking it's ended or waiting for it to begin, is not about reaching some perfect conclusion. It's about allowing yourself to be transformed by the journey. It's about staying open to the lessons, embracing the growth and recognizing that every chapter even the painful ones, is contributing to your evolution. The next time someone asks you about your love story, don't tell them about the ending. Tell them about how it changed you. Tell them about what you learned, how you grew, who you became because of it. Because that's where the real magic lies. Not in the ending, but in the transformation. And that transformation, my friends, 
is the greatest love story of all. So as you leave here today, I want you to release yourself from the burden of seeking perfect endings. Instead, I invite you to embrace the magnificent uncertainty of love's transformative journey. Each relationship you've experienced, each heart connection you've made, each lesson you've learned, these aren't steps toward some idealized happy ending. They're threads in the tapestry of your spiritual evolution, each one essential, each one perfect in its own way. Take a moment right now to silently thank every person who has been part of your love story, even those who brought pain, even those who left, even those who broke your heart. Thank them not for making you happy, but for making you grow. Thank them not for fulfilling your expectations, but for showing you parts of yourself you needed to see. Because in the end, these are the people who helped write the most important chapters in your book of transformation. And remember this always. I, you are not the victim of your love story. You are its author. You are not waiting for a happy ending. You are creating a meaningful journey. Every day, with every choice, with every lesson learned and wisdom gained, you are writing a love story far more powerful than any fairy tale could ever be. Because your story isn't about finding perfect happiness. It's about becoming perfectly, authentically, magnificently you. When you wake up tomorrow morning, look in the mirror and make a promise to yourself. Promise that you'll stop seeing your past relationships as failures just because they didn't end the way you thought they should. Promise that you'll start honoring every love story in your life for what it truly was. A sacred classroom where your soul learned exactly what it needed to learn. Because once you make this shift, once you start seeing love through the lens of transformation, rather than happiness, everything changes. The pain doesn't disappear, but it takes on meaning. The endings don't become easier, but they become purposeful. And here's something I want you to carry in your heart for air. The greatest love story you'll ever experience isn't with someone else. It's the one you're living right now as you learn to love yourself through every transformation, every ending, every new beginning. It's the story of how you learn to trust the wisdom of your journey even when it didn't match your expectations. It's the story of how you learn to keep your heart open even after it was broken. It's the story of how you learn to love not for happiness, but for growth. Because in the end, my dear friends, love isn't about finding the right person to complete your story. It's about becoming the right person to complete yourself. And that journey, with all its twists and turns, all its unexpected chapters and surprising revelations, is the most beautiful love story ever told. It's your story. And it's perfect, not because of how it ends, but because of how it transforms you along the way.